is one battery with unlimited tools. Okay, Babeless, I'm listening. This is the barbershop, Cornerstone Neighborhood. So in case you didn't hear, Babeless announced that they're coming out with a one battery for all their new tools ecosystem. And so being, everybody that hears the word ecosystem, they think about Apple. You know, uh, that cage system that people get in. I mean, and I'm in it too, you know. When it comes to barbers, we didn't always get the best innovations. Stuff was the same for 30 or 40 years, maybe even longer. Uh, whenever I started cutting hair, I started cutting hair using the same kind of tools my dad started learning to cut hair on, and that was in 1958. It's, it's, it's crazy how it stayed the same for so long and whenever things started changing, probably around 2008, 9, 10, whenever we started seeing Andis come out with the BGR, whenever we started seeing good cordless clippers hit the scene with wall, and especially cordless clippers that had lithium ion batteries, because that changed everything. Nickel cadmium was never gonna be good for the barber industry. The only thing it was good for was some trimmers. So in my head, what I was always thinking of was why don't they do what a lot of tool manufacturers have done. Ever I think of ecosystem because once again, woodshed barber, I'm also a woodworker. Thinking of DeWalt, Milwaukee, Hitachi, uh, Makita. Makita is the brand that I use in, in my shop. And you know, I, I'm in that ecosystem, man. I've got a Makita, you know, circular saw, Makita, um, to actually four different Makita drills slash impact drivers. Even my, even my lawn care stuff, I got a Makita lawn, uh, lawn mower and, and, and weed eater and leaf blower. So they got me on that ecosystem because I dug what they were doing. And now for the first time in the barber industry, we're seeing that happen to where Babyliss is coming out with an ecosystem for one battery for all of their tools. Now. I wonder, this is where my questions kick in. What is considering all of their tools? Now they're releasing five tools with this. They're releasing a new FX clipper, a new FX trimmer, the low pro FX trimmer, the low pro FX clipper, a new barrel handle shaver that will feel like a clipper. And it's got a swivel head on it. It has a locking position. It's great. What I'm wondering is, is it gonna be that way for all of their stuff because they've had some big hits lately. My guess is they probably will come out with a version of this for their standard FX2 shaver. I would like to see them come out with it for the FX3 shaver and their FX3 trimmer. Now here's where I'm curious because this is already such a slim design and that that battery actually doesn't look much thicker than this. What my guess is they'd have to do is they would have to actually come and fatten and flatten down the base of it a little bit, which would be fine. It's not going to change the feel of the trimmer. And maybe make it slightly bigger if they have to. They may not even have to. But all these things adding up is, is making me just wonder what all will be coming out soon. And so CT Barber Expo happened this year, and there was pretty much no news from Babyliss. And then they dropped this. So my, my thinking means that next CT is gonna be huge. It's gonna be them dropping some kind of complete planned ecosystem to where not only is it all the trimmers and clippers you love, maybe even some newer ones. Right now, my, be my favorite trimmer and my favorite clipper is not them, however, I've not seen them come out with any poor quality products. The company I, that right now has been probably what I've been using the most of, I have seen them come out with some duds. Babeless is very calculating and very smart with how they release things. And even their worst clippers and trimmers are still pretty decent. So that being in mind, whenever I razz them for not coming out with charging bases, that's just me trying to let them know, hey, this is what the barber community wants. We want things to be more cohesive, more, um, more, you know, the fact that they've came out with so many different tools that have different charging apparatuses, whether it be plugs, bases, whatever. You know, my FX3 trimmer and my FX3 shaver do not even use the same plug. And because of that, that's why it's like, hey, let's, let's get things together. Let's, let's make this, that company more cohesive. 
and us as the consumer have to tell them that so they know that that's what we want. They've completely taken me off guard. I was not expecting this. This might be a big separating thing for them to where this pushes them in a completely different place. You know, it's kind of like Android versus Apple. Are all the other companies going to be Android and this is the Apple? It's possible. Question number one. What's the milliamp hours on the battery? What are we going to expect? I, I, have they done the thing where, I hope that this is what they've done, to where they're thinking, okay, the clipper's going to eat up most of the battery. The shaver will eat up you know, the second most amount of battery, and maybe the trimmer eat up the third most. If that's the case, you know, is it one battery that's going to be, you know, and a trimmer is going to be four hours of battery life, and a shaver it'll be three, and a, tr a clipper it'll be two and a half. That way we at least know what to expect from it. Question number two, is there going to be tool only options? I know that whenever I buy woodworking tools from Makita, since I'm in their battery platform already, sometimes I can buy the tool only without the battery. And that saves them, which we know when it comes to the charging stands, Babyless likes to save money when they can. Is it going to be a tool only option or is it going to be the traditional every single time you buy a tool from them, it will have another battery in it, which makes sense for some. But trust me, for those of us who are in the, the tool world, that's an option that sometimes is nice because let's say you have four or five batteries and something happens to one of your clippers and you need to replace that clipper but the batteries are fine can you buy the tool only i'd like to know that uh, i would also like to know what kind of warranty is going to be with these tools because i don't know if you all notice this but you know there's this little red button on there that you click that button battery shoots out kind of like your john wick or something you know, I'm, I'm, there's going to be barbers absolutely acting like they're John Wick, changing batteries and, you know, popping in and, and going. But is there going to be some kind of different warranty on that spring? Because there's a spring that will be, whenever you hit that right there, that spring's going to shoot that out. That means that there's other components that maybe Babyliss has never put in a product before that we have to make sure work properly, are going to stay on that level. I've never had to use Babyliss's customer service. I'm sure they, they're great, but I mean, we'll see. We, I don't know. Uh, something to consider. So another thing I'm curious about is if they're addressing the inconsistencies with the charging cables, there's also other inconsistencies with Babyliss. So bear with me. Not other tools have hanging rings. The FX's do, the FX3's do, but their low pros do not. One of the reasons I would like to see us get some kind of charging base for them is also because that's a place to safely put our clipper. It's not just about charging and easy charging, which is great, but having a place, designated place that's safe to put your clipper is one of the best things about having a charging dock. Well, if they're not doing that, you know, it's, it's something they could do, but they seem to be big about this, you know, this hook thing because they have these detent hooks now that come out of the new FXs. So why not, if you're going to take away that, make it to where you can hang all of their clippers? Just a thought. Uh, but, you know, stuff like that is one of the reasons I've been so big on charging docks is it's a safe place to put your clippers. They're standing upright. They're easy to grab. You know, you don't have to risk like possibly, you know, taking one off the hook and end up catching it on the hook and boom, you've dropped your clipper. That's happened before. So all that being said, then they showed us this. Because you're going to get the tool, you're going to get one battery, and then you also get a charging port, which look how small this is. Really? We get a clipper that comes with a charging dock, but it's not for the clipper. It's for the battery. <laughs> oh my God. It's for the battery. I would actually like to see them come out with a, kind of like what 245 has done with the charging pods. If they're gonna do that, have a modular system to where you can actually safely just hold your clipper in place, maybe with a rack in front for all the batteries to charge. I don't know, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice charging dock, Babyliss for your battery. Come on, man. Come on, man. I think whenever they do come out, I definitely want to get me a pair. Probably go with uh, the Low Pro FX trimmer since that's my favorite trimmer from them. 
or the FX3 if they have that. The, the Boost FX from them, the, or the new FX1 FX. Now they're incorporating a lot of things into this. They also have on the FX trimmer and clipper, they have the, uh, the magnetic lid removal for easy cleaning that they did with the Snap FX. They're, that's what I, I like about them. Whenever they do change things and innovate, they continue to push that on other stuff. Babyless, thanks for coming out with this idea. This is, this is fun. Uh, and by the way, send me some if you want. So guys, I appreciate you watching and listening. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe, like, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you would like to see from me. If there's any questions you have for me, I love answering that. Um, I appreciate the community that we're building here. Thank you guys. And once again, stay humble. And as always, I'll check you on the next one.